I mean, I wouldn't always shit on people. I've only shot on two people. Um, but I, I had been asked four or five times before I actually did it. A lot of, a lot of guys were into CBT, which is cock and ball torture, and basically being powerless. I had a lot of Wall Street workers who would come in and in their jobs, they're, they're the dominatrix in their job. So they would come to feel like they didn't have power constantly. It was kind of a wake up for them. A lot of the time I played like their therapist for them sometimes. It is therapy because it's a wake up call kind of that they don't have to have this control over their, their entire life. Um, and again, like every, a lot of people would talk about their issues. Um, I had like clients whose wives couldn't have sex because of like health reasons or like they couldn't have sex because of health reasons or like they were lonely so they would talk about that. Like it, it's definitely therapy for a lot of people. I don't know, I was really into CBT because I felt like I had a lot of power over them at the time. Um, because I, I would basically be straddling them and I'd have, sometimes I'd be like smushing their dicks in between two pieces of glass. Sometimes I would uh, just be like putting a sound down their penis. But that was when I felt like I had the most control because like if they moved an inch, like I could like seriously fuck up their body. There's this guy who was really into getting punched and I almost dislocated his jaw. And we almost had to take him to the hospital. Um, that was pretty rough. But, like there were times where I thought I was gonna like, hurt, like cut someone's like dick off or something because there were these tools that we would use to like play, like like tease their dicks, and um, some of them were very sharp. And there were times that like I cut someone and they would start bleeding, but they were fine with it. Like no one ever like complained about it. Um, it helped them. I think I don't really bring it up unless like I've been with someone for a while. I had a boyfriend while I was doing it and I didn't tell him at first, but then when I told him he was completely fine with it. Um, it's made some of my friends feel uncomfortable. Um, a lot of my friends like were worried about my safety. My family found out about it and basically almost disowned me until I uh, told them that I had stopped but a lot of the time if I bring it up with like the guy I'm seeing they'll want me to like dominate them in bed and I again am a very submissive person myself but like also like making people happy so yeah for the most part when I bring it up to the people I'm seeing they just want me to do that to them I mean like on a good week I made 10,000 that's the most I've ever made in a week and I put all the bills because that, that's really what I was doing. I wanted to pay my expensive fucking rent. Um, I think there's a huge stigma to sex work, and there shouldn't be. Um, everyone looks at prostitutes and sex workers like they're dirty people, like they're doing something wrong. But the same, the same politicians who are legislating against it are probably the same politicians who come and see prostitutes.